My name is Yutaro Nagasaku. I'm 30 years old, working as a carpenter. My family runs a carpenting business, so, naturally, I went down this path. Due to circumstance, I trained at another carpentry shop, and I still work there. Hello? Dad? Oh, Yutaro. Sorry all of a sudden. Are you working? No, I just finished, and I'm about to go home. What's wrong? I got a call from my dad for the first time in a while. My father was not only the inheritor of my grandfather's carpentry business, but also famous in the Mia carpentry business. He was my idol. Mia carpenters are carpenters that work on building and repairing shrines and temples. Buildings that are considered Japan's national treasures and important cultural properties. Those required special carpentry skills and historical knowledge. There are only a handful of Mia carpenters that had those skills and knowledge. The carpentry skills required for Mia carpentry are rarely used in modern architecture. But, those fine skills are treasured in Japan, and I believe they are worth showing off to the world. So, I need to tell you something. Do you have any days off soon? Tell me something? Yeah, it's very important. I want to tell you in person. My father's tone indicated something unusual, so I went home on my next day off for the first time in a while. We are... On the brink of bankruptcy. Bankrupt? What do you mean? What I was told on my return was a shocking truth. I stood up involuntarily. After I let Rintaro run the business, it's been downhill. One of my clients heard that our business wasn't doing well and offered an arranged date. Rintaro was my older brother. He was set to inherit the family business. Date? So, Nisan's going on an arranged date? No, Rintaro refused adamantly. He said that it's his fault, so he'll do something about it without relying on arrangements. But that isn't working, so we've come to this point, right? Yeah, I thought I should tell you about this, so I called you. If you heard about it after we lost the business, I thought your kind heart wouldn't be able to take it. Sorry to worry you. Upon hearing my father's words, I was remembering my brother when we were younger. Dad, I'll take care of Yutaro. I'm the older brother, so I can do it. I'll share my snacks with him. My older brother was a model's son in front of her father, but he was a completely different person where my parents couldn't see. Hey, give me your snacks. I'm older, so shut up and do what I say. To me, he was a terrible brother. But to my father, he was the precious eldest son and heir. He actually was more capable than me in the past. I'm sure my father wants to respect his opinion and trust him. Don't apologize, Dad. Thanks for telling me even though I laughed. I'll talk to Nissan. Where is he? My father took me to my brother's room, which was completely different now. The wall between his room and the one next to it was removed, so that it was one big room now, and my room was gone. Ritaro, Yutaro's back. Huh? Yutaro? Long time no see. How are you? Okay, thanks. You never call, so we were worried about you. Dad, I'm gonna talk to you, Taro, so wait downstairs with mom. I'll take him down later. Okay. My brother said all this cheerfully, but when my father left, his expression changed. Huh, <sighs> you should have come back sooner. Uh, what? You're the one who told me not to come back because I was in the way. My brother was a good son in front of my parents, but a mean brother to me. Nothing had changed. Things have changed. I'm making my useless brother useful. It's a good deal, right? What are you saying? I've been thinking. It doesn't have to be me, as long as it's someone from this family. You go on the date with the fatty. I only date pretty girls. I still want to have fun, and I don't intend on getting married anytime soon. Unlike me, you don't have many options there, so you're more fit for this. Huh? What are you saying? You're the one that took over the business. And how could you say that about someone? It's not like I said it to her face, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they'll lend us some money, but I can't marry someone I have no interest in. You'll do something about it. It really was all a lie. Did I say that? Oh, don't tell dad and them about this. I guess I don't need to worry. You can't do anything that would hurt mom and dad, right? I could just reveal my brother's true identity. Then, he would probably lose his inheritance, and my parents would believe me. But, 
If I do that, my family will fall apart. My kind parents will feel guilty, and they might not treat me the same way anymore. I didn't want that. If the alternative is my parents feeling bad for me and treating me like a fragile object, I'd rather have this. Okay, I'll go on the date. It was a stupid decision. I knew that, but I chose to stay silent once again. After that, I left my brother's room and told my parents that I'd go on a date. What? You? Why? If I go on the date, we can save the business, right? Nissan is the successor, but maybe I can help. You did all. I opened the arranged date folder, and there was a picture of a plain but kind looking woman. She looks nice. I'm sure she'll be nice to mom and dad too. Mm hmm. When I met her before, she was a very kind girl. Yutaro, are you okay with this? You don't have to do this. I love this company and the carpenters that work here. So, if it's okay with you, I want to go on the date. I don't know how it will turn out, but still. And hey, I'm not popular with the ladies. I don't have a girlfriend, and I'll be grateful if she lets me marry her. Yutaro, you've given so much thought. My cool and commanding father's voice shook. I almost cried hearing that. So, I said I'll take a walk, and I hurried out of the room. Three months later, I resigned from my current job, and I went back home. Yutaro, I heard you're really going on that date. I'm touched. You're doing so much for the business. Or is it all for me? Of course not. It has nothing to do with you. I decided on my own that I would go on this date. Well, that really helps me out. Thank you. Today was the day of my date with my father's client's daughter, Hinako Sugawara. Hinako-san, what do you do on weekends? Really? I love going to shrines too! My parents would talk me a lot when I was young. If you want, would you like to go to one together? I would like to go to my favorite shrine with you. Uh, really? Um, I look like this. I'm not pretty. Uh, aren't you embarrassed? Why? I think you're wonderful. M maybe I'm weird. <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry to be mean. You're so pure and cute. Ah, <sighs> going to shrines make you feel so refreshed. I went on several dates afterward. After a third date, I went to Hinako-san's home to meet her parents, and we started dating seriously. Today, we were on another shrine date. Yes, I feel at ease just by being at one, but... Huh? But? I... I look like this and... My personality too. So... It's my first time talking like this with a guy. My first time holding hands. Everything is a first with you. So... I'm nervous all the time. Y your hands are rough and... Manly and cool. My hands had been blistered and healed over and over, so it was hard to say that they were pretty. Thank you, Hinako-san. I truly felt happy that I was the one that got to hold her hand. Hey, Yutero! How have you been? I didn't think you'd really do it. After I dropped Hinako off at her house, I ran into Dintaro on my way home. I'm glad I went on the date. I really like Hinako, so don't worry about it. Quit playing! Have you seen her? I don't know how you could ever like that! Why is that all you can say? Hinako-san is thoughtful and cute! I didn't know you were into fat chicks! If they're gonna give us money, I guess I can't complain. In the end, I'm the heir. I'll be happy as long as dad's company is okay. Beyond that, do whatever you want. It's not dad's company anymore. It's my company. Oh. Whoops. Hey, Dad. 
you're retired, so don't stress so much. I don't want your back pain to get worse. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. As soon as our dad came out of the house, my brother changed. That transformation was as instantaneous as ever. Nissan, dad is doing what he wants, so you don't have to nag at him so much. I'm saying it because it would be annoying if he interfered with the business. Heh <laughs> heh, you're right, it's dad's hobby. I won't bother him so much. After some time together, we were officially engaged. Um, father, this... Mia Carpentry Academy? Did you come up with this yourself? Ever since we got engaged, Hinako has been thinking about her business. She was quite brilliant. Rebuilding the business and everything in between. All of her suggestions were things we had never even thought of. No, I... just enjoy visiting shrines, and I want people to know how amazing Mia Carpenters are. You're one of the few Mia Carpenters in Japan, and I believe it's a job that will always be in demand. Hinako-san, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Are you regretting that arranged date yet? I ran into my brother at our front door. I wonder if he has some rule about saying something nasty when he sees me. I don't regret it. Don't tell me to give Hinako-san to you or anything. Heh <laughs> heh you're funny. That fatty? I wouldn't even if the sky fell down. Hinako-san takes care of mom and dad. And her company's looking better. It's all thanks to Hinako's advice. Advice? I saw something on dad's desk about a training academy for Mia Carpenters. That's so dumb. I threw all that away. Forget about it. Threw it away? What have you done? Hinako worked so hard to think of all that. Mia Carpentry is outdated. I have no plans to do that kind of thing during my presidency. We should work on things that make more money, right? Times are changing. Yutaro-san. It was an accident. I had been so careful not to let her hear my brother's insults. Hinako had been listening to our conversation. And I didn't know. A few months later, my brother tossed the business over to me and went on a long trip with his friend. All my stress was gone, and I started preparations for the Mia Carpentry Training Academy that my brother was so against. Father? Yutaro? There's something I want to discuss. Is now okay? Of course! Thank you for everything you've done for this company! But... Before that... What? <gasps> what? Hinako, have you been eating? You've lost a lot of weight. Uh, um... <laughs> I've just been dieting... a little. I'm worried. Why are you doing that? Be because... I want you to think I'm pretty. I've been telling you you're pretty this whole time! W whatever it's fine I came to talk about work. So sorry but Shinako, I love you the way you are. Don't hurt yourself. Yutaro, thank you. You too have you forgotten that I'm here? Oof Hinako slapped my stomach out of embarrassment ignoring my writhing. She starts talking seriously. I've been on the lookout for people who are looking for or want to learn Mia Carpentry skills. I thought it'd be nice to have a chance to experience Mia Carpentry, even if you can't come to the Academy. And there are a lot of requests for a lecture by you. Me? Lecture? Even though you're retired, it won't be so physically draining to give lectures on your skills. My father wants you to do it too. He'll support it. I 
want to preserve me a carpentry? Inako-san, thank you. I'm really happy. I had seen my father repairing shrines before. The skills I had seen there were beautiful and overwhelming. No matter how far technology advances, those skills deserve to be passed down. Dad was crying tears of joy. Thank you, Hinako. Dad had run to tell Mom the happy news. How long has it been since I'd seen Dad look like that? I'm so relieved. Sorry to move things along without telling you. Will Rintaro be angry? It's none of his business. These requests came from my father. If he has any complaints, he can just do what he wants outside of the company. I won't complain. Nissan, you're back. How long has he been there? We hadn't noticed that my brother was standing at the entrance. Man, Inako-chan is really good. She's done so much for my company. I... I... Her father and you, Taro. Also, you've gotten so pretty since I last saw you. What? Hey, don't come near her. What are you mad about? You snatched up the date offer that came to me. What? Inako-san, I'm so sorry. I couldn't come get you after Yutaro snatched you. But it's okay now. I finally have the courage to fight him. I'll protect you. So, marry me? I knew this was my brother. But he looked so much like the devil right now that I almost doubted it. Let her go. So scary. Yutaro's always been like this. He's a good boy in front of her parents, but so violent toward me. Hinako, you get it, right? You can't be fooled by him. Be with me, and we can think of more things that make this company successful. What? That's your business. I took a deep breath to tell him off. How dare you! Hinako? You've been terrible to you, Taro, this whole time. I know that you've been making fun of me and that you hurt you, Taro. I didn't want you, Taro, to be made fun of. I worked hard to become pretty to protect you, Taro. I realized here that Hinako had known my brother's true nature. At the same time, I learned the reason that Hinako lost weight, and I was filled with rage and defeat. I had been trying to protect her. But I was unknowingly hurting her. What am I doing? Yutaro doesn't write me a carpentry off as outdated, unlike you. He sees who I am and has told me many times that I'm wonderful. I love Yutaro. I chose to marry you because it was with Yutaro. Don't say bad things about him. I'd rather die than be with you. This bitch! Know your place! I'm the heir! Be my wave! I know what you're thinking. Hinako has become prettier and you know she's brilliant. So now you want her. Of course Hinako is brilliant. Her family became greatly successful because of Hinako's marketing skills. What? Yeah. Hinako has been learning management by her father's side. She adapts her knowledge to the times. That's what makes her brilliant. We have to do that too. We should learn and adapt to the times and make sure that dad's Mia Carpentry doesn't die. Mia Carpentry is one of Japan's treasures. Yeah, yeah, thank you for that grand speech. But I am the heir. If I say we don't need it, we don't need it. Oh yeah. If you won't give me your fiance, Renounce your inheritance. You don't need this company and the assets, right? I'll take it all. Huh? I was speechless. Has my brother always been this thick-headed? My brother really looks like a monster then. I see. That's how you feel. D dead My father was standing there. My brother's nonchalant face had turned into one of panic when he realized dad had hurt him. How long have you been there? I thought it was weird. 
I thought I should believe you, but I was wrong. Rintaro, you won't be inheriting anything. This company and everything else will go to mom and Yutaro, and no one else. <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. Yutaro said something weird, so I was playing along. It's no use. I've made arrangements so that none of the inheritance goes to you. Huh? W wait, I'm the eldest son. I thought you wanted me to take over the business. Yutaro will take over the business. I've been thinking about that ever since Yutaro came back. What? No way. I failed as a parent since I couldn't see through the facade. But that you've ended up this way, it must be partially my fault. Yutaro, you must be enduring all of it for my sake. I've caused trouble for Inako-san too. I'm sorry, you two. My father bowed his head toward Hinako and me. The company will be okay, but, as I had guessed, my kind father felt responsible. Don't apologize anymore, Dad. It's my fault too. The whole time, I couldn't say anything because I didn't want the family to fall apart. So, I have to apologize to you and Mom. I'm really sorry I couldn't tell you. From now on, if anything bad happens, I want to tell you and Mom. It's not all your fault, it's mine too. So, don't feel bad and be weird around me. Me and Nissan. Thank you for trying to trust us until the end, Dad. My pride had me trying to fix it all on my own. Family problems should be dealt with by the whole family. My brother's words were relayed to my furious mother. After cheerful apologies, she kicked my brother out. After that, my brother kept coming back with excuses. But it was revealed that my brother had been using company funds for his own pleasure, and he stopped coming. After that, he was arrested for robbery. He was convicted, and now he's in jail. My father's company was saved by Hinako's business skills and my brother's absence. Things finally calmed down, and Hinako and I were finally getting married. Hinako, you're so beautiful. The most beautiful. Since then, the four of us are living happily. It's been so much more calm than I had imagined. But if you were to ask me if I didn't feel any guilt, the answer would be no. I should have reached out for help when I was younger. Then, maybe my brother would have changed. There's a limit to what can be done alone. So, to make sure this doesn't happen again, I want to protect this family and Mia Carpentry together.